G'day guys and welcome back to another one. So in this episode, I'm gonna start gluing down my floor sheets. The floor is gonna be 18 mil Thermalite board and it's gonna be just glued down with talc and resin. So basically, we just put the glue down on this and straight down on top of that goes our floor sheet. Now the underside of the floor sheet is laminated with one layer of 450 chop strand mat, uh, just to give it a bit of uh, a bit more rigidity, a bit of strength, but also more so uh, to give it something to bind to. So that lamination there is strong, and then uh, the talc and resin will stick down to the stringers and the foam. Now I've resin coated the foam, as you can see. So before I do any more, what I'm going to do is grind the top of the tank there, just to make sure that we've got everything. Uh, that's because we've been walking on that just give it a really good grind just so we get really good lamination because that that is one good flat spot area where we're going to get lamination really well now I'm going to put these sheets in one at a time I haven't done a video on how I cut the sheets I'll just put up a, a photo and show you the template I made out of malamine and then cut the boards it's relatively simple guys I'm not going to bore you with that let's uh, get into it let's get our boards prepped and ready <laughs> Phase one of our floor sheets. As you can see, I've got a lot of weight there. Truck batteries, 20 kilo buckets. Uh, fuel drums, 20 kilo fuel drums, they're filled with water, so don't worry. There's gonna be uh, no explosions happening anytime soon. Batteries, batteries, and another oil drum there. It's plenty, plenty of weight pushing that floor down, and there's about five kilos of uh, talc and resin with wax under there so I'm pretty confident uh, that's going to uh, adhere very well to the floor and uh, I don't think we'll be lifting that anytime soon. Additionally to this we'll wrap glass around the sides of the uh, bilge well there. I have left a overlap above level with the fuel fittings so the fuel fittings are protected if anyone was to step or a fish come down in there and hit that hard, those fuel lines are gonna be protected a little bit. Uh, more so the fittings than anything, because we don't wanna bend or warp these. And I'll uh, glass back underneath our lip up under there. So, uh, and then obviously around the edges, up the sides of the hole and up the transom, the floor will get glassed back up in there. So plenty of strength in it. And I've got no concerns that it's ever going to uh, ever going to pop up and uh, cause us any grief. So now I'm going to grab the second sheet, which is going to go uh, in the middle there, and I'm going to laminate that. Uh, so one layer of 450 chop, same as this one. Laminate that this afternoon. Leave this to dry overnight. Come back in the morning, and we will laminate that uh, middle one down, and we'll laminate the third floor sheet and repeat the process.
You'll notice that I did put some screws in the floor on those outside stringers. Now, the reason for that is I did change my mind uh, yesterday when I did screw the, I ended up screwing the other floor down in a few sections as well, just because I just really wanted it to pull down and, and stay stay snug there for that glue to, uh, to really bond well. So I wasn't gonna rely on the weight alone. Um, so I punched some screws in and the intention is I'll probably pull those screws out. They're only 304 stainless. So I'll probably pull those out and replace them with um, some 316 stainless, maybe a little bit heavier gauge, a little bit wider head on it. And that'll, that'll sandwich into the Thermalite. Then I will glass over the top of that. Uh, so basically they're gonna be sealed off. I'll even resin coat them when I drill them back into the stringer. Um, I haven't gone anywhere near those center um, stringers the inside string is anywhere near where the fuel tank is. So on this side, I've screwed along here, but I stopped where the fuel tank starts because I just do not want to compromise that tank's integrity at all. So that's the reasoning behind that. As you can see, I've got a lot of weight in the center there where the glue is sitting on top of the fuel tank. And this guy's it. Honestly, I've been swinging off this all morning, like with two hands and there's no budging, no, no chance that's ever gonna move. And additionally to this, we'll glass this down as well. So this will all get glassed over the top of, which is gonna give it extra rigidity and strength across the hull and the board. Now, one of you guys did comment uh, asking if I did or didn't glass up the side of the hull. And um, you can see there that I have. So I, I've put three layers, uh, 450 chop, 450 double bias, 450 chop up and over and that actually interlocks with the stringer layup that we did in addition to the original stringer layup so um, there's an overlap there and then we brought it up above floor height so now we've got that strength in the corner there but also when we glass against that edge it's going to give it an additional strength along the side of the hull as well so that's where we're at with this up next i'm going to laminate the little piece that goes up the front there let that set overnight, glue that down tomorrow. And then we'll look at uh, prepping this surface for uh, glassing. So it is getting there. This is a great milestone for me. Uh, I really feel like the floor going down is, is just a real milestone because I've got a level platform to work on and then I can start getting stuck into the well back here. So that's the plan next is to uh, build that. We'll chop the dash out and we'll finish up under there as well in good time it's just i don't want to do that until i cut that dash out i really don't want to be going up in there i just don't have the heads head room i was going to say head space but i've definitely got the right head space for this build and i'm loving it so all right guys stick around we'll check this out guys floor is glued down so i've got uh an overhang on this side, just the way the uh, the hull tapered up. We trimmed it in a little bit, and we're just going to bog all those, bog that hole up each side, and we'll just glass up over that. That'll never move. She's nice and solid. She's nice and level, and I'm really happy with where the progress is at the moment. So it's late in the arvo. I've just been out chasing kingies this morning, so I'm a little bit tired. What I'm going to do today is a little bit of prep work and get ready for uh, glassing this floor down. But this is where I'm gonna end this video because we've done a lot. We've foam filled, we've resin sealed that, we've glued the floor down, we've prepped the floor, cut the boards. So all that is uh, more than enough for this episode. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. The subscribers are certainly uh, slowly climbing, which is good. It's uh, really, uh, humbling and, and motivating me to continue these videos so keep the, up that guys and yeah I'm uh, looking forward to the next stage of working on level ground I'll see you in the next one guys cheers